Hi my friend how are you welcome to Choice Tech in this video of Choice Tech we are going to learn one of the most important concepts which is used to solve the partitioning of the sets problems and the pairing problems as well this concept is known as bell numbers so what are bell numbers here is a series of bell numbers which starts with 1 followed by 1 then 2 5 15 52 203877 and so on so still not clear what the bell numbers are okay let me define bell numbers for you now the nth bell number denoted by pn is the number of non empty subsets in which we can partition a set of size n that means if a set of integers given to you of size 3 it means that there are three integers in the set bell number is used to determine in how many ways we can partition that set all right so in this series as you can see b0 is 1 it always starts with 1 then b1 is 1 this means that if we are given a single number which is 1 in this case in how many ways can we partition it it is just 1 all right then we move to b2 the number of ways in which we can partition two integers 1 and 2 is 2 here are the partitions we can partition them individually that means we can keep these two numbers in individual partitions or we can keep them together so two ways similarly let's take a look at the scenario of b3 the value of this is 5 that means when we have three integers in a set there are five possible ways by which we can partition that set of three integers how we can do that let's find them here so 1 2 3 are our three integers this is the first way by which we can partition this set of integers individual partitions then we can keep them together this is another way to partition this set then we can keep 1 and 2 together three alone also in fourth partition we can keep 1 and 3 together and 2 alone and then in the last way we can keep 2 and 3 together and 1 alone now a question must be popping in your mind how to find these bell numbers well there is a very simple way to do that so a way to discover bell numbers is to construct a bell triangle now the left most column of this bell triangle gives us all the bell numbers and i am going to teach you how to construct that bell triangle now but before we do that if you are new to my channel hit the subscribe button and i want you to hit the bell icon because when i release videos like this i want you to get notified so that you don't miss out on any of the learning and you stay updated now let's move to constructing the bell triangle now let's begin constructing the bell triangle so as you know that b0 is going to be 1 so let's put b0 the value of b0 over here now this also gives us the first value of the bell triangle let's go for b1 so how we are going to calculate the values of b1 so the first value over here is going to be the last value of the previous row so it is 1 over here i am going to copy 1 as it is all right now we'll have to calculate the value of the cell next to it so it will be the sum of this value and this value so this gives me 1 plus 1 2 now we move to b2 so the first value of b2 is going to be the last value of the previous row which is 2 so i'm going to copy this value as it is let's calculate the value of the cell next to it so this is going to be the summation of this value and this value so this gives me 2 plus 1 3 now we are going to calculate the value of this cell also because bell triangle is a right angle triangle okay so this value is going to be the summation of 3 and 2 so it is going to give me 5 so you will now be understanding how i am constructing the bell triangle let's move to constructing b3 so b3 the first value of b3 is going to be the last value of b2 which is 5 
so i'm going to copy it as it is the value of this cell is going to be the summation of 5 and 2 which is going to give me 7 the value of this cell is going to be the summation of 7 and 3 which is going to give me 10 all right the value of this cell is going to be the summation of 10 and 5 so it is going to give me 15 okay let's move to constructing b4 so the first value is going to be the last value of b3 which is 15 the value of the next cell is going to be the summation of 15 and 5 so it becomes 20 the value of this cell is going to be the summation of 20 and 7 so it becomes 27 the value of this cell is going to be the summation of 27 and 10 it is going to be 37 and the value of the last cell of this row is going to be 37 plus 15 which is going to give me 52 all right so here we have constructed the belt triangle till b4 now as i told you the leftmost column of this belt triangle is going to give me all the bell numbers so b0 is 1 b1 is 1 b2 2 like we already saw b3 is 5 this means that when we have three integers in a set then all possible ways by which we can partition that set is 5 and now we have calculated b4 2 this means that if we have four numbers 1 2 3 4 in a set in how many ways can we partition it the answer is 15 similarly you can calculate b5 b6 b7 and so on now we are going to take a look at its algorithm so this is the algorithm bell i0 is going to be bell i minus 1 i minus 1 this indicates how we are copying the last value of the previous row into the leftmost cell of the current row and then for the subsequent cells this is the pseudo code bell ij is going to be bell i minus 1 j minus 1 plus bell i j minus 1 that means we are summing up the value to the left and value which is diagonally opposite so with this we have come to the end of this video this is the first video in partitioning a set and pairing problem series in the next video we are going to understand this recursive relation to determine the bell numbers and then we are going to look into friends pairing problem also leave your feedback in the comment section do give this video a thumbs up i look so much forward to help you with algorithms and programming and only for this video goodbye